Hi there, my name is Ashley Hubbard and in this video I will teach you simple ways to lose belly fat. Let's get into it. And just very quickly, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. I am uploading videos very often and I don't want you to miss out. My name is Ashley Hubbard, that's me in the centre of the screen. If you are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. This channel is about healthy diet habits for weight loss. You can also connect with us on Facebook. I have put our Facebook link in the description below the video. And finally, please do give the video a like because that tells me you find the content useful. Thank you very much. Let me now teach you a few simple ways to lose belly fat. Number one, swap refined grain foods for whole grain foods. The first diet tip to lose belly fat is to swap refined grains for whole grain foods in your diet. Science shows that people who eat a diet which consists of whole grains, including five servings of fruit and vegetables, three servings of low-fat dairy and two servings of lean meat, fish or poultry, will usually result in losing more belly fat and weight loss. This is because whole grain foods are high in fibre, which makes you feel full for longer periods of time. This will help you to eat less, which can help you lose belly fat and general weight loss. Here are some good examples of whole grains to include in your diet to reduce belly fat. Oatmeal, barley, quinoa, whole wheat pasta and brown rice. My advice is to stay away from white grains. For example, you can eat brown, brown wheat bread instead of overprocessed white bread and have wild brown rice over white rice. Number two, start the day with a healthy, well-balanced breakfast. The next way to improve your diet to lose belly fat is to start your day with a healthy breakfast. It might seem counterproductive to eat if you're trying to lose belly fat and lose weight generally, but science shows that eating breakfast within an hour of waking up keeps insulin levels steadier and LDL cholesterol levels lower, which helps you to lose weight. My advice is to make sure your breakfast is healthy and well balanced. You should try and include a protein source in your breakfast. Some good sources include eggs, beans, peanut butter, nuts and lean meat. To make your diet healthier, you should include some fibre rich foods in it. Some good sources include oats, fresh fruit and leafy green vegetables. I would recommend to minimise refined sugar in your breakfast to lose belly fat. My advice is to stay away from sugary cereal such as pancakes, pastries and instant oatmeal. These foods often contain lots of extra empty calories, which can lead to weight gain. You should try and eat oats and other high fibre carbs because these maintain healthy blood sugar levels, which makes it easier to lose weight. Let me ask you a question. Do these tips make sense to you? Please leave a comment below the video. Now don't go anywhere because I still have some more tips to give you and you don't want to miss them because they will help you. But if you click the link below the video right now, it takes you through to the website for the Atkins Weight Loss Program. I recommend you take a look at the Atkins Weight Loss Diet Program because this program will support and serve you in achieving your goals. Let me now give you some more simple ways to lose belly fat. Number three, eat less calories in your diet. The next simple way to lose belly fat is to eat less calories. Unless you reduce the number of calories you eat, you won't lose belly fat. My advice is to keep track of your daily calorie consumption by using a program such as MyFitnessPal or the USDA Super Tracker to record everything that you eat. I want you to remember that it takes a 3,500 calorie deficit to lose one pound of fat. That is, you have to either burn off 3,500 calories through exercise or eat 3,500 calories less than you burn in a week. You can break this up into daily limits. To burn 3,500 calories a week, you should aim to have a 500 calorie reduction every day. For example, you can exercise to burn 250 calories and cut 250 calories from your diet. My advice is to go for two pounds of weight loss per week. Losing any more than that can be unhealthy and often leads to a cycle of crash dieting in which you can rapidly gain back any, well, any lost weight. I recommend to keep a food diary. Most people tend to underestimate how much they eat. Get an honest assessment of your eating habits by writing down everything you consume for a week. You can also make benefit of an online calorie calculator and figure out roughly how many calories you're consuming in a day. 
From this data, you'll be able to see what you can afford to cut. My advice is to try a diet in which you consume 2,200 calories for men or 2,000 calories for women per day. This should give you a deficit sufficient for you to lose one to two pounds per week depending on your activity level. Some women may require lower calorie intake such as 1,800 or 1,500 a day. You can start by limiting yourself to a 2,000 calorie limit per day and lower the limit if you do not see progress. I would suggest not to consume less than 1,200 calories per day because this can be dangerous to your health. Number four, get more fibre into your diet. Science shows that soluble fibre, such as that found in apples, oats and cherries, lowers insulin levels which can speed up the burning of visceral belly fat. Women should aim to consume 25 grams of fibre per day, while men should aim for 30 grams a day. My advice is to add fibre to your diet slowly. If you are currently getting 10 grams of fibre a day, don't jump to 35 grams of fibre the next day. The natural bacteria in your digestive system requires more time to adapt to your new fibre intake. You can eat the skin on your fruits and vegetables. Including more fruits and vegetables into your diet adds more fibre and lowers the calories. But only if you eat the skin, and that's where most of the fibre is. Make sure you don't peel those apples before you eat them. With potatoes, you can leave the skin on. With baked or mashed potatoes, or if you peel them, you can make snacks of them. Keeping the skin on potatoes when cooking them helps keep more vitamins and minerals in the flesh. Just don't eat any parts of the skin that are green. You can also eat more split pea soup. Split peas are a fibre power food. Just one cup contains 16 grams of fibre. Now, if you want a programme to support you, please make sure you click the link in the description below the video right now. It takes you through to the website for the Atkins Diet Weight Loss Programme. I recommend you take a look at the Atkins Diet Program because this program will support and serve you in achieving your goals. You will have the opportunity to choose a plan that is right for you on the website. The Atkins Diet Program is available to people in the USA. So make sure you click the link below the video and you go through to the website and have a look at the Atkins Weight Loss Program. Because as I say, this program will support and serve you in achieving your goals. I recommend you take a look when you are ready. Just click the link below this video to find out more. I hope you enjoyed that and please make sure you subscribe. Please do hit the like button and give the video a thumbs up. That tells me you find the content useful. Is there a specific video that you want me to create for you? Please let me know in the comments section below the video. You can also connect with us on Facebook. I have put the Facebook link in the description below the video. Thank you very much for watching and supporting the channel and I wish you all the best on your weight loss journey. Have a brilliant day.